Sunday morning, the Dallas Cowboys visit the Cincinnati Bengals. Cowboys coming off a pretty big win last week on the national TV against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Cincinnati Bengals have been playing better and better each and every week. They, right, they find themselves right in the middle of this division race. The Bengals, a three-point favorite. The total is 45 and a half. Chuck Edel, you like this game. I'm going to go with the Cowboys here. And, you know, I'm not a, a huge Cowboy fan, but I've made a good amount of money going against the Cowboys as a favorite, going against them at home. When, they, when they're a dog on the road, they've been, you know, don't ask me why, maybe a, a different pressure situation with uh, Jason Geary there. But they're 4-2 and two against the number on the road. We saw them open up the season beating the Giants, Carolina. They only lost at Baltimore by two. The game against Atlanta, when Atlanta was undefeated, that was a close game. They lost by six. But yeah. that was definitely a game that Dallas could have taken care of business. Now they're going to be catching a field goal against a Cincinnati team. When you look at their record, yeah, they're right up in the, in the playoff spot. I think they're 7-5 and five here. A extremely soft schedule. Here's their wins. Cleveland, Cleveland, Washington, and that was week two before Washington got things rolling. They beat Jacksonville, Kansas City, Oakland, San Diego. They lost to Miami, and then they lost to Cleveland on the second game. They had one nice win. It was against the Giants the week when all the hurricane things were going. Caught the Giants at a good spot. The record of the Cincinnati wins, the record of the teams they beat this year, 28-56. Wow. 33% uh, win ratio by the teams that they have beat here. Meanwhile, Dallas – they're getting better. I mean, you know, DeMarco, you know, they, they really miss DeMarco Murray. When you don't have a running game, you guys know this, it's a lot harder on the quarterback. Oh, if, yeah. you, if you if know. Once you're one dimensional in the NFL, exactly. you're going to have you problems. I don't care who you are. And uh, DeMarco Murray, he, you know, he, he's missed six games even earlier in the year. He was banged up now. Uh, he's, you know, he's getting healthy. The other guy, the wide receiver, uh, Des Bryant, he scored, he said in his last three games, he's had five touchdowns. His, the whole season, he's only had three going into it. Uh, coaches, everybody commenting how much better. You know, this is a guy who's had a ton of talent, a little bit of a head case, yeah. but he's really starting to get the system down. I think this is a much better, you know, they're starting to play much better offensively. They're banged up a little bit defensively, but I, I really think that uh, Dallas could outscore Cincinnati here. And uh, like VR says, I would definitely sprinkle some on this one. Tony Romo actually had some great numbers last week. Yes, he Played did. very well. VR. Usually when a team wins like Cincinnati has, winning four in a row, covering four in a row against the level of opposition, you said the only good win was against the Giants, and it's set up perfectly with Hurricane Sandy like you mm -hmm. touched on. So I can't give them credit for that win. So more times than not, I'm going to look to fade a team like Cincinnati. The only thing I worry about is that they're playing the Dallas Cowboys, and the Dallas Cowboys are always overvalued. I mean, yeah. here's a team no matter what. They may be 3-3 three and three their last six games, but they're only 1-5 against the spread. They're a the kind of team that even when they finish the season 12-4, and four, you're just not going to make money on them. For some reason, you can't make money on the Dallas Cowboys, and that's the only thing that scares me. And whenever you're afraid to make a bet, that's usually the best one to make. Yeah. Sunday night, I made a joke and said – even if I found money on the ground, I couldn't bet it on the Eagles. Right. You couldn't get me to bet the Eagles. And what happens? I know it was a back door. It was a miracle. No, but still, they were in the game from start to finish. They Dallas, they, they Dallas shouldn't have covered they, that they game. Yeah. They, they were except for a few minutes there in the yeah. fourth quarter, they were never in jeopardy of not covering that number. So I don't want to hear about the back door over and over all week because Philly was the right side in that game. And that's the only thing that scares me about Dallas. And defensively, they allow – teams to pass on them at will 7.2 yards per pass and Dalton's been improving every game so that's the only thing that scares me but again I, I gotta side with Dallas or leave the game yeah. alone because since he's a little bit overvalued this is another I think a, a situation where you're selling high yeah. on Cincinnati buying not so much low but I think you're selling high on Cincy yeah so we've talked about it let's go ahead and make it official I think it's a good spot for the Dallas Cowboys. We know when they're a favorite, when they're at home, they've been really underachieving as a dog on the road. They've been a winning proposition. Maybe like VR said, they, they've been overvalued at home, but maybe a drop undervalued as a dog on the road. Cincinnati, extremely weak schedule. The record of the teams that they beat this year, averaging 30, a winning 33% clip. That's horrible. A very overrated Cincinnati Bengal team. I think the Cowboys may win this game. I think it's going to be pretty easy. 
Very good. I sprinkle a little something. I'll tell you what, this is another great spot for a teaser. Up to 10. If you yeah. are, if you yeah, play seven point teasers, you can get this all the way up to 10. Uh, there's been some money on Cincinnati. This may Early go to money. three and a half. You know, I, yeah. maybe, maybe. Grab the three. I have a feeling yeah. you're going to see some, money. some late steam on. Yeah, I don't yeah. think, it, yeah, I think so. I don't think so. But Grab I saw three now. minus dollar yeah, 20 it's getting up there. On, on Cincinnati. So. Getting a set up right nice for the plus three. Very good. And had some good money line, too. By the way, uh, okay, next, coming up next, we're going to hear from VR. The Giants Bring and the Saints. We're calling in the closer. We're Bring calling in the closer. closer one more time. Go get your coffee ready. Make sure you get that black beard next year. Yeah, I'm going to leave. The, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't shave today, so I should have left it. The playoff. You can see all our videos at pregame. It does look a little more black than it was last week, too. <laughs> That's that Grecian formula.